Hi, Flying Horse Farms. Yaya here, and I want to do some crafts with you today. So I was wondering, do you have any broken crayons in your home that you don't really use anymore just because they're broken? Well, let me tell you, broken crayons still color, and I made this super awesome crayon art with it today. And I made another one. How cool is that? Still color, still beautiful. So, for today's craft, all you will need is some crayons. Broken, not broken, old, new, used, whatever. All different colors, shapes and sizes, whatever you want. Um, this is your art, so I would love to see your creativity come out. You also need a hair blow dryer. I have this one here. It works. It's about all it needs. And you'll be using on the hot and high setting. And then you'll also need some sort of like paper product, whether that be cardstock, cardboard, a canvas, just a plain old piece of computer paper. Anything you got, uh, it'll work just fine. And then you can also either glue down the crayons or you can tape them down. Um, for this one, they kind of fell out. I just kind of taped over top of them, so obviously that was a fail. But still, you see the cool melty here. But on this one, I like the folded tape inside out um, and then stuck all the crayons on that. Um, and that seemed to work pretty well, so 10 out of 10 recommend. And then you could also use glue uh, if you're using hot glue, please have an adult come help you out uh, just because we don't want anyone getting hurt because you know at camp, safety first. The first thing that you need to do for this craft is lay down some protective covering over your table or surface that you're doing this on. I used a disposable tablecloth. You can use anything from newspaper to just regular paper or anything that can be either washed or thrown away after this craft is done. I would also use a smock or an old t-shirt to protect your clothing from wax that may get on you so that, so that your clothing is protected. So the first thing that I did is I chose the colors that I wanted to use for this one, I chose reds, blues, pinks, and purples because I just really like how those colors flow together. And you can really choose anything for them. You can either leave the paper on the crayons or take it off. It's up to you. And then you'll need to get your paper ready. For this one, I'm using a canvas, but once again, you can use any sort of paper product, whether cardboard, cardstock, construction paper, anything really works. Um, just up to you. And I'm going to tape down my crayons to the canvas by taking tape and flipping it in like a loop so that it sticks to the canvas as well as the crayons. And then lay the crayons out how I would like them to go in a specific pattern or randomly um, just kind of trying to see what would look best and then I'm also going to put a piece of tape on top of that to secure it so that none of my crayons go flying like the one in my first example did um, just so that I can ensure that the crayons will melt to the canvas as well as stay on while the blow dryer is blowing them now that I have everything set up, I'm going to go ahead and turn my blow dryer onto the highest heat at the highest blow speed. Uh, and then start on one side, moving from left to right. Um, and you want to make sure that you're moving the hair dryer as you're going along, not just keeping it in one spot, because that's what gets the wax moving. You can just see what works best for your crayons and your surface. There's times where starting at the tip works best and other times starting at the edge 
also works well too. It just really depends on what kind of look you like. Uh, I like starting in kind of going for the middle and it kind of gets like a splatter effect, which is pretty cool. And that's why you need that smock and protected table so that doesn't get everywhere. And then you'll just keep blow drying until you get the final look that you want. Um, you can even put it on the already melted wax down the canvas to kind of like move it lower or move it around or kind of swirl it just to get maybe like a marble effect or really whatever you want. Like this project is so cool because not one is going to be the same. It really just depends on how the crayon melts and how you set it up. Once you get the look that you like, you can go ahead and set it aside. Let the wax set and dry and cool down a bit because it might be pretty hot from the hair dryer. And after that, you can take the tape off the top if that's what you decided to use. Um, in my opinion, it works pretty well. And it's the easiest to, to do because there's no drying time like with glue. Another thing I like to do when I take the tape off is to go over the top of the crayons again uh, just straight down on the canvas so that I can just make sure they're fully melted on and that they're not going to come off and then voila you're done a few safety tips I have is to m keep your hands behind the hair dryer at all times that air can get pretty hot and um, it also blocks it from the crayons also be sure not to touch the crayons when they're melted just because that can smudge your masterpiece as well as it'll be hot as well and it could burn you and like we say safety first at camp at all times thank you so much for crafting with me today i would love to see your finished products so have someone drop a picture of it in the comments so we can all see what each other did uh, if you're able to and if you want to get a, some more flowers, if you have lots of greens, do something like this. Or if you just want to go a little crazy, something like this. But I think they turned out great either way. Once again, there's no one way to do this. There are so many different ways. And I would love to see how you guys do and what you come up with. Um, but yeah, thank you. Have a great day.